Welcome to our Harmony Power broadcast, and I am deeply honored to have Hanshi Kaufman. Now, Hanshi Kaufman was one of the founding fathers of American martial arts. There might be a handful of those people, and I treasure history. So when I made the connection to him, I was excited to have him on this broadcast, especially when he was talking about true love. Like, when do you hear about martial arts talking about true love? I like to do that. I talk about all the philosophy and the harmony and the peace and the love, but you don't hear that very often. So to hear a founding father of American martial arts talk about true love, I'm like, I got to get him on my broadcast. So here he is right now. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you very much, sir. It's a, an honor and a pleasure to be here, and I hope I can illuminate <laughs> to the extent I have to illuminate. There you I go. Mean, I have to say, I mean, to go from, you know, Book of Five Rings that you're, you're famous for, Art of War you're famous for, you talk about true love. How do we go from Art of War to true love? That's my question mark, and I would love to hear it from, from you, please. Okay, well, here's the thing. True love is a very, very misunderstood concept. Mm -hmm. The reason it is, is because the vast majority of people who consider true love base it on a physical connection, okay? Mm -hmm. And because it's a physical connection and it becomes therefore subjective, without getting philosophical, it loses its true meaning. True love means I am 150%, I hate that word, 100% open in any relationship. Mm -hmm. If I am not open 100%, then I'm holding something back and you, as the recipient, are going to wonder what's going on here. Why isn't it a complete thing? So when I offer you, you, okay, true love, it's based on the idea that there's a connection between souls. Mm. And if there's a connection between souls, and this goes into the philosophy of self-revealization, self-revealization, if I can hold up the book, <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you. Self-realization means that I am aware of my connection to the universe. If I'm aware of it, okay, and I'm communicating with you, you, not, you are also aware of your connection to the universe, and therefore there's absolutely no need for conflict. Right. The whole thing. Because okay? you're understanding the oneness. That exactly. So there's a one, there's absolutely no difference between you and I in a one on one. Okay. I mean, you know? it's, it's certainly society's struggling right now between race, color, creed, sexual orientation, all these human differences that they perceive as differences, obviously physical, spiritual, but they're not, they're not understanding. They're still learning that oneness that you're talking about, that true love. Okay, my particular take on this is that they already know what it is, mm -hmm. but they are afraid because they have difficulty coming to terms with the tragedy of their own inconsequence and insignificance in the universal order of things. Okay, I know, and I say this without you know, arrogance, conceit, or false pride, that I am here based on the needs of a higher intelligence. I'm not going to define as God or any of that. That's up to the person hearing right. it. Okay. Right. Therefore, I am an expression of this higher ideal. So, because everybody, you know, you hear, well, this, everybody's equal, blah, 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 blah. Everybody is not equal, but that's another story. Okay. You, as a connection to me, are also central to the importance of the creative power of the universe. So therefore, if he's putting you and I together, mm -hmm. there's its own purpose. And therefore there's not like, hey, I'm talking to John, let me show him how cool I am. Hey, let me get the hunchy on me and let's help be hip with him. And no, see, that immediately creates um, a disharmony, okay? Harmony in a relationship does not have to be expressed in, in actual words. For example, I said, well, hi, John, thank you. I truly love you for having me on the show, which is total bogus, okay? The whole idea here is not you, not me. The intended message from the creative power of the universe. Mm -hmm. 
creative power of the universe does not create to destroy, regardless of all this idiocy that's running rampant throughout the world. Okay, the same thing applies with a man and a woman. Yeah. And without getting sexist, you know, I, you know, a lot of people. Well, wait, wait, what about a guy with a guy? The woman, hey, leave me alone. Okay, I have my own prejudices. Okay, but I understand that if I have prejudices, you have prejudices. So let's leave that out of the way. But get done on, what has to get done. Hold on one second. There's a lot of information, and I just want to rewind this a little bit, right? So when people talk about equality, you don't believe in equality, or you don't believe people are equal. Um, equality is a word that humans have created, right? So the idea is that there should be a mutual respect that should be the same, regardless, word, of, yeah. regardless of the human differences. Now, society doesn't treat itself as equals. People are not doing that. People are trying to control people, and that's the struggle. Humanity struggle. Everybody wants to control everything. Instead of allowing people to be and just making a connection, and that's all fear-based. Now, when you talk about the universe, there's the outward. I believe there's also the inward, and in that we're co-creators. So what's in me, the creation is in me, is connected to the creation out of me. So there's no disconnect there nor is there a disconnect between me and other souls. And I also believe that before we come into this soul journey, that we're also co-creating the experience, that we come into these experiences by choice that's been chosen. Now, what that means, it's hard to even understand because we're not on the other side to understand these beliefs. Just my feeling. Everybody has their own language, their own understanding, their own belief system. But... <laughs> Well, we're, but when I remember there was a, a person I was very close to, uh, Leo Fang, and he was a minister, Christian guy. And I said, so you, you're a Christian. So what do you, you believe Jesus is in? He, he says, John, just a spoke and a tire. Everybody's got a spoke and a tire, you know. But yeah. so we're in a world where people are, will, they'll kill themselves based upon what they believe. And if they don't kill you physically, they'll kill you by telling you that you're going to go to in a fire of hell. Or you're going to be born into something that's terrible because you don't believe that faith. And all these all these fears that are created to follow a system and which I believe this is all man made in some way. You know, I do believe in oh. Jesus. And I believe in all the prophets. They all have their purpose that the universe brought them to us. But the fact that we are following um any human and we're we're following them like they're gods when we're we're all in essence gods and we're following the god where it's all connected it's all one thing okay. that's that's my my take from this yeah. yeah my particular position is on based on words of wisdom but people accuse me i like that accuse me of being a man of wisdom see i said well that's cool you know <laughs> okay doesn't pay the rent, but that's not the issue, okay? In my view, wisdom is a contrived concept used by those, quote, quote, in power to control others. One of my tenets is beware words of wisdom. They're contrived methods to control your behavior by those who put it basically have more money than you do. Okay, and therefore you are, are obviously, if you don't understand the wisdom, you're gonna go to hell kind of a thing. Well, let me tell you something, you know, this whole thing, this whole fear of dying. My view is you don't die, you get reassigned. Okay, <laughs> so. They're putting it, yeah. Yeah, you know, but you can, well, when you go to, when you go up or you go down, you have no idea where you're going. That, I don't care how profound your faith is. I am not interested in the words of a man, sir. I am interested in his actions. And I am interested in his awareness of the psychological trauma that goes along with defining yourself as the divine ideal based on your ego, all right? Uh, it goes along with this. There's no such thing as yin and yang. 
which is not to suggest that yin and yang does not exist, okay? So if you want to be a Christian, you want to be a Buddhist, you want to be a Jew, you want to be a Klingon, okay? That's your choice. And I, if I'm expressing true love, respect that in you. Because I'm not going to say, hey, well, that's cool, but do it this way. No, you do it. You're the one who has to define your own voyage. And if you define your own voyage and it's based on inner peace that you decide you want to experience, you got it, son. Other than that, it's like, well, what am I going to do to get over? I mean, that's all this politics and stuff like that, which I, I don't even pay attention. I, I, I watch the uh, political scenario with a great deal of mirth. You know, it's just, this guy's trying to get away with this man and they let him get away with it. Leave me alone. You either adapt or die. It's as simple as that. You cannot go into a, 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 a position of stasis where, well, they can do what they want. I'm not affected. No, it doesn't work that way. You are affected. Okay? Let's go back. Let's go back to the, the true love. Okay, good, good, good. Because yeah, we can, you know, we can go in a lot of places. I go forever, yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead. back to that. That's what fascinated me. So really the true love to you is that soul to soul connection, right? So we also believe in the universe, the divine, you know, and like I said before, God's God or God's, but it's all one thing, whatever we want to call it, you know, Absolutely. they have all these labels. And I believe in a divine, that great divine, that great divine, like in the Bible, it says God is in us. God is around us. So, and there's, you know, there's all these different ways of wording it, but that power in us, we're connecting to others, but if we don't connect our own power, we can't understand that true love in ourselves. How do we make that connection with others? And that's that's the big question mark, right? I find it very simple to do that. And I, you know, I don't want to get into a commercial here, but like in my in-depth explorations into higher consciousness, which we were like that, I was revealed by myself, which is the reason I came up with self-revealization acceptance. All I did was type the words. Okay, let's go there. The problem here is people separate themselves from, uh, from uh, causation. If you are an extension, and what does he say in the Bible? I created you in my own image. Well, to me, that means, okay, and a lot of people will probably take this incorrectly, I am, here we go, God. Right. And that's no. it. Just, oh, okay. when, people, oh, when people say, like I mentioned that before, that can come from, I, if you say I am God, that's more of a, that can sound more of an ego thing. Like I'm God, like that's almost like a dark space. Yes. But, but when we say I'm God, more from a loving space and I'm, I'm connected to all God, that God is. Bango, you got very it. Very different way of saying it. One okay. right, so that that's where it gets tricky when people use these words and what those words really mean, what they're intended for. But the infinite, we we don't have the human comprehension to understand the infinite, right? Unless obviously we go into meditations and we go into um, some have our own awakenings. But you know, I'm like everybody has their own experience, but it's a feeling of knowing that you're not alone, that there's something so much bigger than we could ever imagine. You know, if you look at something as simple as a baby that's born, it comes from the invisible and then it's visible. There you go. It goes from the invisible to visible. Yes, we question God essence. Exactly right. And what happens is because of that, the separation is created because again, well, wow, it's a miracle. Well, I don't want the baby and stuff like I don't want to get into that subject. That's a whole different thing, okay? If you as a as a person, as a woman, okay, don't give me this guys can have baby. I don't want to go into that. Okay. If a woman is with child, that is the most profound creation that you can conceive of. Therefore, you have got to be a direct extension of the creative power of the universe to fulfill the needs of the creative power of the universe. You are merely an instrument. 
okay? You are an instrument. You are not the creator. You don't create anything, okay? Oh, well, I wrote this. I created this. I can... No, 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 no. You extended the original thought and intention. Therefore, what you do and what I do are the same exact thing. Okay, even Masashi talks about it. Hey, uh, you're a, well, he doesn't use the word brain surgeon. You're a brain surgeon or a cook or a butcher. You have to know how to make the cut in order to like provide the necessary equipment. And Musashi, the great... The sword, yeah, the kensei, the sword saint, okay? And I have a very, very personal, close relationship to the spirit of Musashi, which was revealed to me when I did the Book of Five Rings. Yeah, that's, that's, that's another conversation because yeah. I do as well because of its simplicity okay. and its value of life. People think of a, of a samurai as a person who wants to take lives. No, they want to. Oh, no, that's not it. They value not life. Not it's a whole other conversation. Back to the true love. Thank you. I'm, glad you. I'm glad you got control of this, sir. Yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> it's that, listen, it's beautiful that you can go in these directions and you've got a lot of depth and have a lot of respect for you as a result. Um, but just to kind of wrap this conversation up, because it can go on forever, but I, I think of people who watch this, there's a lot of depth in it. And there's a lot of questions it can make create, right? We understand that true love is a soul to soul connection. It's a feeling that you have a deep connection to another person, providing you have that for yourself. It's it, not intellectual in any way, shape, it's or form. Feeling, it's a feeling. It's all it is. And okay. if it's it, it, it's a trust. The trust, right? But that trust is something that you gamble, right? So we can no. I would say that no human, you, even self-trust, we make mistakes. We're flawed human beings, so the, you have to trust what's flawed. Okay, you misunderstand and, your own intuition. You the know. risk in trusting what's flawed, right? That's what we, you know, they call they say in the Bible sinners, flaws, yes, mistakes, right? So. That true love is really about that soul to soul connection, and you're going to take that chance to make that connection, right. regardless, of, regardless of the consequences. And right. Cool. Without, otherwise, there's no soul evolution without doing that. There's nothing. That's right. You sit alone, just, and we have to come out of that. Anyway, what a great um, connection to you. You know, okay. you can certainly, uh, I can certainly say that. People who watch this, they'll get a lot from it. And uh, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for being on the show. My point, listen, if anybody wants to get in touch with me, Hanshi Kaufman at Gmail. Yes. And also, you said this True Love book's coming out. You mentioned that. Yes. Because yeah. I, because a man who wrote, they have these books, Art of War, Book of Five Rings, comes out with a True Love book. I got to have you on here again if that happens. Well, all, well, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I'll say I have your email. You have a lot of books. That's the thing with you. Yes. Yes. Well, I want to thank you very much for having uh, had the opportunity to express my ideas. Whether they're agreed to or not agreed to by the vast majority is not my problem. This is why I can express true love because I'm not holding back anything. Because it takes courage to do that. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir.